Hi, I'm Keiko. Welcome to this old Japanese house. This is Seshu's Garden. Once the second residence of a powerful daimyo, Joeji Temple is known for its 16th century Zen garden created by the Muromachi period artist Toyo Seshu. Highly acclaimed during the Warring States period, Seshu was commissioned by his patron, the Ouchi, to create the garden here. Entering the Muin Garden, on the left we can see the Jizodo. And on the right, the bell tower. Restored in 2012, this rock garden lacks a water feature. However, the paved pathway is said to represent a waterfall. Escaping a large fire in the Taisho period, the bell tower is original. From inside the Hondo, visitors can get a close look at Seshu's folding screen, the 1000 Han Buddha, and the Nam Meiyan garden. Not before taking a look at the roof tiles decorated with the family crests of the Mori and the Oji. And the room where the Showa Emperor stayed during his visit in 1943. Any visit to Seshu's garden wouldn't be complete without looking at this beautiful screen. It's 600 years old. It has the most beautiful, expressive horses. Prancing about so majestic and free, Seshu paints the horses so beautifully, don't you think? Now let's have a look at the Nam Meiyan Garden. Seshu traveled to China to study ink painting and for his patron, the Ouji. This garden commemorates his return with the rock representing the sea and the moss representing the land. In 1455, Ouchi Masahiro dedicated this residence in honor of his mother at her death, and thus this place became a temple. However, nearly 150 years later, the Ouchi would fall to another family, the Mori. Originally from Akinokani, Near present-day Hiroshima, the Mori relocated here after the Battle of Sekigahara. The new daimyo came and decided that this would make the perfect temple to pray for his ancestors. Sadly, in 1923, a fire started nearby, reached the temple, and burned down the structure, leaving only the main bell tower and Seshu's garden. The Muromachi period Zen garden also features a walking path, so visitors can take a leisurely stroll and enjoy the garden from all perspectives.
Let's take a stroll outside. And this is the first viewpoint. The incline is not very steep. I think it's a really easy walk. It probably takes about 10 minutes to go completely around. Just have to watch out for the bags. I hear going straight ahead takes about 20 more minutes, so we are going to the left. And this is perspective number two. And this is perspective number three. So there you have it. Joeiji, Seshu's Garden. If you enjoyed this rather unique installment of this old Japanese house, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until the next time, mata ne!